guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a review for you of the HTV Ront Manual Heat Press for shirts and craft items. Um, I'm really excited for this one. I will tell you, I have the automatic one, which I love. This one's smaller, takes up less space, lighter weight. I believe it only weighs about 35 pounds and the arm moves 365 degrees. Your heat plate is up top here. So this moves all the way out of your way. So it kind of makes the things easier to line up on the plate. You, oh, while I'm over here, you have an adjustment here so you can adjust the pressure, which comes in handy if you are pressing on things like canvas or things that require a lot more pressure. Wood, ceramic, things like that. Um, I got it in the teal color, obviously. It's a very basic machine, which is fantastic. It does have this, which plugs in via USB. This is your thermostat. You set it to your temperature. You set your timer right here. So however long you want to press, so you know exactly your seconds. I'm doing my thing at 30 seconds. Once it's all set up, you push and hold until you hear the button. You take it off and, oops. Oh, sorry, it's not working because my press is not down. But you press and hold that and it gives you your timer. So what we are going to do is I'm going to show you how it works on a couple items. And I did buy some Dollar Tree stuff just because I feel like that is going to be a good test. So I have it set on 350. The first thing we're going to press is this heat set um, iron on. And it comes with directions and it just says no steam, Preheat to medium high. I asked Google what medium to high was and they said it was like 300 to 350. So we have it set on 350. Um, we're gonna remove the texture backing and position the so its sticky side down. Now, this did not come with a silicone um, mat. So I'm gonna have to get some. All right, I got a piece of fabric from the Dollar Tree. Makes that convenient. Here we have our setup. I should have pulled the sticky back off while the camera was off. Um, I have never heat transferred anything from the Dollar Tree. So this is my first time too. So the bumpy back is just on here so you can see the design. Ah. And when they say sticky back, they mean sticky. Let's heal it this way. You want to, all right. You want to lay this flat. I give it a good schmooze. I'm going to lay a piece of fabric over it because, like I said, I do not want it to melt onto my heat press. I'm going to bring it around. I have my timer. Push it down. Hold it. And now the timer's going. And it's going to go for 30 seconds. Off. Nothing melted, which is nice. Now we have to see here, this is a cool pull. So we're going to let this cool off. Alrighty. While that is cooling, we're going to do our next test this is also from the dollar tree and i think i just have to pull i just have to peel those off but let's take this off of here we're going to put it on the front of this bag right because isn't that going to be fun same temperature same time and all right we're going to use these from the Dollar Tree, I got one off. And we're gonna stick it right over here. And I like it because it has a sticky back. Should we do a different one too? Let's do two. Um, you wanna make sure you're getting just the sticker and not the paper backing. So you wanna feel these to be sticky. Okay, and then we're gonna say, here we go. going to do that and what's interesting with these is they're in celsius while that's happening 
we can pull this off because it's cool. Now, oh yeah, that works out well, guys. Like I said, I've not done it before, but it worked out perfect. Oh, how neat is that? Oh, guys, that turned out so well. I did get an extra little dealy up there. But didn't that turn out so well? It's on there. So that worked out well for shirts. Now we're gonna try not to burn the house down with this. Again, there's nothing that needs to be peeled off on this one, but it just needs to cool. But how cute is that? And I'll show you them all at the end. That's hot, hot, hot. Okay, last thing, I also got this at the Dollar Tree, and this is canvas, so I'm very curious to see how the canvas works. We're gonna do this canvas bag that I got at the Dollar Tree, and we're gonna iron on patches. I read the directions, cotton setting, which is your highest setting, 10 to 15 seconds, so I changed the timer to 15 seconds, and these are just your regular patches. So we're gonna just do, we're gonna go crazy here, right? Cause why not? We got a rainbow. I think this will make a fun little bag. And I have some patches. They're coming back in vogue, on trend even, if you will. All right, we'll put this one in the center since it's the biggest. And then we have these guys here, which are, a squirrel, a chihuahua, and a kangaroo. I mean, why wouldn't I need a chihuahua? Ooh. Well, the chihuahua is probably not going to stick because I just pulled off the interfacing on that one. So we'll skip the chihuahua. But we do have... Ooh. I don't know why these are doing this, but I'll just try to leave it. The adhesive. Look what it's doing. It's peeling. Well, we'll do that right there. And we have a squirrel, which I love. So we need to do our dog and our cat. That here. And then I'll do the squirrel up here in the kangaroo. Oh, he's going to stay right where he's at because the backing. Right? It's the adhesive and there's hot glue or some kind of sticky glue that peeled the adhesive off. We cannot be having that. Put him here. We'll do him up there. Okay. And these are all patches, so they're different. But they're warm, they're the pressing is the same. Okay. I put the little heat up. Got the timer set for 15 seconds. But look how that turned out. Definitely want to put some fabric in here, um, parchment paper or something of that nature so it doesn't stick together or silicone. Teflon. Okay. Oh, it worked. Guys, I'm so excited. We're going to let this cool for a second and then I will show you. All right. On this little canvas bag, all the patches stuck. Amazing. Even the kangaroo. All over the edges, the patches have stuck. I am in love with this machine and I definitely highly recommend it if you're looking to get into any kind of heat pressing or transferring of items. And then I'm just going to turn it off. And then it'll cool off all on its own. Definitely, definitely recommend the HTV Ront manual heat press for your crafting needs.